Hey, this is David Benjamin from Healthy, Wild, and Free. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video. Today I'm going to talk about three reasons why I believe you should be eating sea vegetables and try to include them in your diet on a daily basis or at least a few times a week. Now, what are sea vegetables? Sea vegetables are basically uh, algae or seaweed. And there's different blends of algae, there's different types of seaweed, there's uh, nori, there's uh, kelp, dulse, uh, there's all different types of um, seaweeds and algaes. And uh, you can do further research on the different types of sea vegetables that are uh, available to actually eat. But today I want to talk about the health benefits of eating sea vegetables and why I think you should eat sea vegetables more often in your diet uh, than you probably currently are. So the first reason is sea vegetables tend to be rich in iodine. Iodine is a very important mineral for the thyroid gland which is located right here, and the thyroid gland helps to regulate body temperature. So uh, if you have a, a, or have had cold hands or feet at times, that means you have a hypothyroid, hypothyroidism, which basically just means you have an underactive thyroid. Uh, hyperthyroidism is an overactive thyroid that produces too much uh, of the thyroid hormones. But if you have an underactive thyroid, and if you've had cold hands and feet, that's a good indicator that you've had hypothyroidism, which is an underactive thyroid. So iodine in sea vegetables, uh, iodine, which is a mineral in sea vegetables, is going to be very beneficial for getting your uh, thyroid healthy again and, and uh, helping it do its job properly. So the first reason is sea vegetables are rich in iodine, which is a, an important mineral and a, an important, uh, I believe it's a trace mineral, uh, for your health and well-being. The second reason is sea vegetables are rich in iron. Iron is mostly, uh, most people get iron from meat sources, so, uh, you know, uh, beef and things like that. Um, but if, you're, if you don't eat a lot of meat like me, you can get your iron through sea vegetables, which is going to help um, keep your blood healthy and uh, with uh, red blood cells. And uh, when paired with, uh, I forget how to pronounce it, but the hemozygin molecule, something, H-E, I don't know how to pronounce it, something molecule, when iron is paired with that molecule, it helps to oxygenate um, the, the red blood cells and oxygenate your body, so that's beneficial too. And just keeping your blood healthy and, and, and purifying that kind of thing. So the first reason is iodine intake, second reason is iron. The third reason is sea vegetables are extremely rich in both uh, minerals and trace minerals. And trace minerals are the uh, minerals that are, are not as common or likely to, to be found in regular kind of fruits and vegetables. Um, so uh, if, if you're deficient in different trace minerals, which are the kind of the micro, the, the micro minerals, uh, it's very beneficial to eat sea vegetables because sea vegetables are rich in sea minerals, which include both macro and micro minerals. Whereas, for example, for me, I live in Michigan, I live in the Midwest, so if you live in the Midwest, like me, there's a good chance that you're deficient in some, uh, at least a few trace minerals because we don't live by the coast, so we're not getting you know, as much seafood or sea minerals or sea vegetables, and our soils here have really been uh, depleted of minerals, so we're, we're missing out on minerals, unfortunately. So, uh, uh, iodine, iron, and uh, sea vegetables are very rich in sea minerals, including trace minerals, and they're also chlorophyll rich, which chlorophyll is the, the green pigment um, that helps to um, alkalize your body, to balance the pH of your body, and to oxygenate your body. So it's very beneficial to get sea minerals to alkalize and, and oxygen as well. And I'll just give you another reason since I'm already making this video. Another reason to include, uh, well a few more reasons, I could keep going. <laughs> another reason uh, to include sea vegetables in your diet is because uh, the, the mineral content within sea vegetables uh, is, is beneficial for detoxifying heavy metals out of the body. So uh, if you have any metals in your body, um, mercury, uh, really anything, sea vegetables, because of the mineral content, help to actually pull those mineral, uh, those excuse me, those metals out of the body, which is very important because you don't want mercury or any heavy metals um, kind of sitting in your organs and sitting in your body causing um, stress on your organs. So it's very beneficial for detoxifying heavy metals and there's not a lot of uh, great solutions out there to detoxify heavy metals, so that's another great reason. And uh, sea vegetables, I mean I could go on and on. The, the mineral content is just one of the most amazing things. Right here, I, I'm looking down here, I have dulse 
and I have uh, kelp. And these are just organic uh, kelp. This is organic kelp powder, and this is organic dulse leaves, little leaves. Uh, and I got these from Star West Botanicals. As you can see, I'll put that link below. And uh, basically, um, the, just the mineral content overall, like the iodine, iron, uh, and magnesium, uh, tryptophan is also in uh, kelp, I believe, which tryptophan helps the body um, basically use protein the way it's supposed to. Uh, so it's, it's very important for um, just using protein properly as opposed to using protein improperly within, within your digestive system and metabolism and whatnot. The great thing also about sea, sea vegetables is because they're so mineral, mineral and chlorophyll rich and alkalizing, uh, they're great for the digestive system. They are just amazing for the digestive system. I mean, if you think about it too, if you look at fish, for example, and this is just kind of like, you know, when, when they say uh, follow the money trail, let's follow the food trail for a minute. If you look at fish, fish eat sea vegetables, right? They're eating um, uh, different, you know, uh, sea vegetables, algae, um, seaweeds, and things like that. And fish are some of the most flexible, fluid, and thinnest animals. They move like that all day, and they just keep going. I mean, they are very fluid, very flexible. Uh, very, uh, if you were to compare, if if you were to look at the fitness of fish, <laughs> they're very toned animals. You know, they're not like they're not like cows or, or um, bears. You know, they're very fluid. So uh, I believe it's because they're eating so many sea vegetables, which are rich in sea minerals, which helps them have that ability to to move better as well. So. Um, Minerals are the base of everything, and, and uh, sea, sea vegetables are, are rich in, the, in that kind of base that, that you may be deficient in. Another cool thing about sea vegetables is there's antioxidants uh, found in sea vegetables that scientists really don't, know, don't even know the full benefits of yet. And it's kind of interesting because um, with plants that grow in the sun, they develop antioxidants to um, uh, basically protect themselves against the sun. We eat those antioxidants and receive those benefits. But some of the sea vegetables, is, uh, uh, you know, they, they're deficient of those antioxidants, or they, or they really just contain other antioxidants because they're in a different environment. They're in the, they're in the salt water, they're in the, you know, just sea mineral water, basically, and the ocean, and they're receiving sunlight through the water and through the minerals. So it's pretty, I think that's producing a different type of antioxidant, which benefits us in ways we don't even know yet. So, uh, but re really alone for the, for the getting your iodine in, uh, for the iron for your blood, for the chlorophyll, the alkalizing, uh, and, and the trace minerals. That is definitely plenty of reasons to start eating more kelp, more dulse, more seaweed, more algae, and things like that. And um, these are all organic, certified organic, and um, even certified kosher, which doesn't really mean anything to me, but certified organic, that's what I want. So um, they're from Star Wars Bot Botanicals. I'll put the link for this below. And I'll also put the uh, more information on kelp and dulse uh, in the article below. So make sure to check out everything below and you can, and you can grab these and, and learn more about that. So thanks a lot for your time. Thanks for watching the video. This is once again David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Please like this video. Leave your comments below. Uh, hit like, favorite, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and have an awesome rest of the day. Bye.